Hello and welcome back to another update. In this one, I'll be covering something different. As we have seen reported today, there was a surprise attack by the Palestinians into Israel. We're seeing across the border from Gaza that the Palestinians have attacked seven different areas. According to the Israeli military, they have been attacking from the land, sea and air. And based on this information, we also see that there are reports of at least 2,500 rockets, missiles sent from Gaza into Israel across the whole country. And we also see reports of Palestinian soldiers entering into Israeli land and attacking these different villages and cities across southern Israel. According to the latest information, they have captured this border crossing between Egypt and Israel, the Kerem Shalom checkpoint, where they have captured multiple vehicles, as we see in this video here. According to reports, what actually happened was that the Palestinians went into this area dressed with Israeli military clothes, cut a hole in the fence in the northern eastern part of the checkpoint entered and eliminated the Israeli military in the checkpoint and then they entered with their motorbikes with their additional soldiers and took control over the checkpoint this includes multiple military vehicles and other uh, military equipment that they have captured from this checkpoint and since then, there's been fighting in this surrounding area, as well as in the direction of the village of Nir Oz, which is also in the border between Gaza and Israel. We are also seeing fighting all the way into a 20 kilometer depth to the village of Ufakim, here in the south part of Israel. We are also seeing fighting in the village of Netivot and in the northern part in the direction of Sderot, Sikkim and Neot Ashkelon. So in all of these areas, the Palestinian military has entered, or the Gaza Hamas military groups have entered these areas and are fighting currently in these areas. There's been a lot of videos of fighting across in a small arms fire mainly, but also we have seen video of a tank burning. According to the surrounding comments on that, it is not clear whether it is new or old. But there is these pictures here, which is of a Israeli tank and armored personnel carrier, which have both been captured by the Palestinian guys. So we have seen both armored vehicles and tanks being captured by the Palestinians in this surprise attack. And this is a surprise attack to a very successful degree comparing the fact that Israel's secret services had no idea this was coming and that this all happened early in the morning around 5 30 in the morning and they managed to capture these areas without alerting, alerting the Israeli military. The Palestinians here have managed to actually capture multiple of these uh, areas where the fighting is ongoing and the fighting is going on in the sense of small arms firing and there's no coordinated counterattack by the Israeli military yet as of 9 in the morning. Going back to the earlier statements about the air, land and sea attack, the Palestinians managed to attack the villages here to the north by motorboating from the positions here in the northwest of the Gaza area into the Israeli territory to avoid the borders and avoid detection. So they went on a motorboat and drove across the sea to the Israeli positions. And then someone paraglided from the buildings within Gaza. There are high buildings, tall buildings. They jumped off one of those buildings and motor glided with a motor coupled with a gliding flying through the areas by himself into the rear cities here, most likely how they entered Elfekim here in the southern parts of Israel. So there's a lot of fighting focused around this gap between uh, southern Israel, between the western bank, which is under uh, Palestinian autonomy, and the Gaza Strip here in the southwest. 
So the, in this attack against Israel, the Palestinian groups, all of them are working together to conduct this offensive. Although there has been no reports of any of the Arab leaders surrounding Israel, neither Egypt, Jordan, Syria, Lebanon, Saudi Arabia, Iraq or Iran has said anything about this so far. There's been no response from them and there's been no update. So most likely this offensive, this surprise attack was coordinated between the Palestinian groups, but not with other countries. And maybe they're hoping for the other countries to support them once they see the success that they're having. But so far, the fighting has only been ongoing by Palestinian groups against the Israeli government. According to the latest information, the Israeli response so far has to scramble all of the available units to try and deal with this current situation. They've also started airstrikes on the Gaza Strip, while the Palestinians continue launching missiles all across Israel. They claim that they are launching up to 5,000 missiles, while the Israeli government so far has reported 2,500 missiles sent from the Gaza Strip into Israel. And that amount is purely too much for the Israeli Iron Dome system. They need to recharge their missile systems and the rate at which the missiles have been fired is over is over the capacity of the Iron Dome system. So there's been a lot of missile strikes that has actually hit Israeli territory all across the country. It is difficult to imagine that the Palestinians actually think that they will be able to defeat the Israelis by themselves. So most likely they are betting on one of the Arab or Muslim country leaders to actually support them directly, whether it be Iran, Iraq, Syria and the Hezbollah area here to the south of Lebanon supporting them or it is a general Arab coalition similar to the first few wars between the Arab countries and Israel. But the current situation is a clear surprise attack that gives a big advantage to the Palestinians in this initial period because they have managed to surprise the Israeli secret services and thus be able to overcome this uh, initial stage where they have managed to capture some of these border military bases, taking control over Israeli military equipment and capturing these bases gives them a huge advantage in this initial stage to the point that the fighting is now taking place within Israel and not within the Gaza Strip. So this means that the Palestinians have the advantage right now due to the slow response of the Israeli army. But most likely very soon, as soon as the Israeli army has organized, they'll be able to just completely demolish the Palestinian army because it is not even a close competition between the military might of the Israeli compared to the Palestinians. So unless there is some sort of support from abroad for the Palestinians, the Israeli will most definitely win this war. The main question is how will Israel respond? According to preliminary information, there's going to be a meeting between the general staff of the Israeli army with the Israeli government. And most likely the Israeli government will declare war against the Palestinians here and then use the full might of the military to just get rid of the Gaza Strip. That is most likely what uh, the intention of the Israeli government is right now. How will this provoke a response from the surrounding Arab countries or Muslim countries like uh, Iran, Iraq, Syria, and so on. That is another question that we do not have an answer to. There is only speculation. So in the end, all I can say is that a war has started in Israel for yet another time as the Palestinians launched a surprise attack against the Israelis and has managed to gain some initial success. However, with the silence of the international community, as far as I have seen, there's no world leader that has responded and talked about this event yet. So all we can say is sit and wait until we get info official information from different countries who may or may not get involved within this conflict. And that is going to be all for this update. Thank you all for watching and have a great day.